right here. They, they took Kingston, so they right in Kingston. I'm going to come around that way. Go to 76 in Kingston. Tuesday night on Chicago's southeast side, police on the prowl for gangbangers dealing drugs near an intersection with a violent history. We had a female shot on this corner, innocent bystander that was shot from some guys that was coming out of the store here. They was after a young man and the guy drove up and shot him. The calls that Sergeant Sonora Ben's tactical team usually responds to involve guns, gangs, and drugs, the major contributors, police say, to violent crime in Chicago. But a lot of the police effort to curb that activity goes unnoticed. I guess the public think that we're not doing anything. We're doing it. It's just it's so much that is going on at one time. We don't even have enough arms to try to go at it. In, in, in all the different directions. So far this year, the 4th District has had 10 murders, down one from this time last year, and 53 shootings, 12 fewer than 2011. It's not the most violent part of the city, but when the temperatures get hot, so do the tempers. Just a couple of days ago, we had five shootings within uh, less than an hour, I want to say. On this night, the streets were relatively quiet, but the teens police shagged earlier decided to trespass into someone's fenced-in yard to hide from police. Is that weed I smell? And smoke pot. Six got arrested. So the low-level arrests can go a long way to preventing the big-level arrests. Absolutely. Sergeant Ben, like many cops, loves her job. We're out here to make sure that you have a safe day, safe night. A job that's usually done without fanfare, making a difference that's often hard to quantify. The day in the life of, in the 4th District. <laughs>